I love video games. When I was a kid, it was one of the few things that got me away from the emotional abuse of my parental figures. I would sit avidly at school not giving half a fuck about what I was supposed to do because my mind was clad with how far I could get in Castlevania when I got home. And bubble bobble, more respectfully. I've never gotten the chance to think about why I love video games, so I thought I'd do it now. Considering every song I've been working on sounds like shit and I hate the idea of a completed product. Hell, more than half the things I upload are 20% of what I've written in the week it's released. So let's count the bits. When I was about five years old, your girl Jane got their gross hands on a Nintendo Entertainment System, probably about 20 years after it came out. When I was a kid, all I had was old 80s and 90s shit my parental figures found in crappy small town Ohio thrift stores or dumpsters because, well, poverty. Like the consoles, the orange Nickelodeon VHS tapes, and other stuff you kids might not have a clue about in your Gen Z brains because you've always had the internet. That's not a bad thing, mind you. It probably made you smarter than a kid whose knowledge composed of land before time derived empathy with a side of cottage cheese and honey smack cereal. That shit always looked like coffee beans to me. I didn't even have an Xbox until I was like 11. Well, come back to that number eventually. So my schedule composed of was wake up at 6 a.m., eat coffee bean cereal, go to school on a crowded bus full of little bastards, get an F on a quiz, come home, play the five NES games I had until it was 1 a.m., rinse and repeat. Mind you, I had to dodge the parental guardian after 9 p.m. because that's when I was supposed to be asleep. But it's pretty hard to tell that your kid is still awake if you've been snorting oxy since 7 and your hands are deep in cocktail sauce. Video games were the only way I could escape my young mind's idea of what cynicism was, and it was fine for them. As I got older, kids didn't like me. I was a lower class nerd with no social skills outside ranting about how much I liked Nintendo and Weird Al. Back then I wished I could be normal. Now, not as much. When I was around 10, I was a greasy ass jerk who was mean to their friends. I mean, of course, everybody is at 10. I needed an outlet. I turned to playing the guitar and singing, but it wasn't enough. I mean, it still isn't, really. I saw my older cousin Chris was playing a bigger console, a PlayStation 1. It took a year, but eventually, once he got the PlayStation 2, he gave me his old shit PS1 with Army Men, Sergeant's Heroes, Final Fantasy 7, and Silent Hill 1, along with other games I don't care enough about to mention. I played the living shit out of these three games. I mastered them, actually. It was meditation, but gay and nerdy. Silent Hill taught me that horror was something I absolutely loved, especially when done right in the categorization of a video game. Final Fantasy VII taught me that there was a dramatic, epic story to be sought out in a way video games could only deliver. Army Men? Well, it taught me that I like melting things. A few months passed, and at that time I was just hearing about an Xbox for the first time from school kids. My friend Nick had an original Xbox he didn't want since he had just got a P uh, Xbox 360. I played so much Halo 1 and Conker's Bad Fur Day that my brain developed a keen awareness of hand-eye coordination, or as I like to call it, being a dumb bitch who thinks cognitive efficiency comes from being bad in school and playing too many video games. And then I got Halo 2. That game fucked me up. After playing so many hours of Halo 1, I wanted more and I didn't think that there was any. And then Halo 2 kicked me in the face. It had an online multiplayer, a bigger story, more immersion that people today see as bad graphics with too much soldier rambling. I was hooked. I screamed horrible things into my squeaky child voice into a cheap old microphone I got at a free store just in time to be annoying to everybody online. Before long, I had a 360 and Halo 3 a year after it came out. Because when you're poor in the early 2000s, you wait a year for things to get cheaper. Or you get it from a sibling or cousin that thinks they're too cool for it anymore. Either way, I played it for a very long time. If you were one of the kids that played that game back then, you might even remember one of the custom maps I made, like that weird I Am Legend tribute, or one of the Duck Hunt maps. Maybe even a really bad machinima or two. Of course, the machinimas are lost to time, and it was probably recorded with an old iPhone. The truth is, people think that video games are something that only cis men find an intrigue in. That couldn't be further from the truth. Even though I didn't identify as a woman back then, when I was a kid, I, I was still trans. I just didn't know it. And if you're one of these weird plebs that, who thinks that it doesn't count, uh, if I didn't, do you know who I was playing with? Like, who was playing the second controller that whole time? My cousin Dakota. Who was a girl? Checkmate, Nazis. I mean, they were a tomboy, but nonetheless, it does count. And they still love video games. The first time I tried VR was at their house when I was 20 or something. You all know that these ages proved to be hard for me because of the things outside of me that I couldn't control, but video games were always something that I could control, something to put me somewhere else, somewhere where I didn't mind the lack of emotional support or even stability. I spent many nights on cold, wet concrete, but I always knew that there was something good waiting at home. 
I might be an escapist maniac who can't make a stable video right now, but these will probably get more focused in the future. That's it for part one. Part two will come out at some point. But for now, this was Jane Reynolds, the burn mom of many to me. Someone play the multiplayer mod for Boneworks or Call of Duty Warzone with me, please.